Y'all, we're making sushi. Come on. It's sushi. Sushi? Where I'm from, we call that stuff bait. Welcome to Highfalutin Low Carb, the random web series where we find and test the best low carb recipes this crazy internet has to offer. Today, we're tackling something you may not think is possible, low carb sushi. Stay tuned. All right guys, low carb sushi. Can it be done? Well, one of my Patreon members, Hannah, had this question. She said, hi Wes, I'd like to see a keto sushi battle. They say cauliflower rice doesn't taste of cauliflower once you add rice vinegar, but I don't trust that. I don't want to experiment over and over, so I wondered if you'd consider adding it to your list. I miss sushi so much. And I think I responded to her and said, I am skeptical as well. The cauliflower as rice in sushi with raw fish. Hey, you forgot to cook. We're gonna find out by testing two of the most popular recipes. One is a cooked cauliflower rice recipe and the other is raw. The first one is Keto Sushi Rolls Recipe by the website myketokitchen.com. And the second recipe is Low Carb Cauliflower Sushi and this is by ditchthecarbs.com. So we're gonna try both of these and see if low carb sushi is even possible. Now, before we begin, I need to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, Green Chef. Green Chef is a USDA certified organic company with meal plans to fit a variety of lifestyles. For me, I choose their keto meal plan, but they also have delicious dishes for a variety of lifestyles, including vegan, vegetarian, paleo, and again, keto for us folks. It's nice to have a fridge full of delicious meals that are ready to go. Now, the recipes are usually quick and easy, and there's a step-by-step -step instruction guide. You get a card with chef tips and photos to sort of guide you along the way. And what's nice is you really learn uh, how to combine flavors and textures that you probably wouldn't have gotten otherwise that you can then take and use in other dishes that aren't from Green Chef. Now, one of our favorite dishes this week was the smoky pork patties. And this has got caramelized onion and roasted cauliflower, a great cabbage slaw with cotija cheese and a cilantro cider vinaigrette. This dish, uh, we, I have joked and said, smoky pork patties, smoky pork patties about a hundred times while cooking this, but it is no joke joke in flavor, buddy. This thing packs a punch. The flavors are so delicious. And what's great about Green Chef is a lot of these flavors come from pre-prepared sauces and dressings like the paprika Dijon aioli and the cilantro cider vinaigrette. These are already ready to go and you know that they're quality, well-sourced ingredients that are great and a healthier option than most packaged products. So thank you Green Chef for sponsoring this video. It's sponsorships like yours that keep channels like mine on the air and for that I'm truly appreciative. Guys, if you want to support me, go support them. Check out the delicious delivery options from Green Chef. Go to greenchef.us slash 90 highfalutin and you'll get $90 off across your first four boxes and free shipping on your first box. All right, let's go make some sushi. Come on. All right, let's get started on our first recipe. This is the version of with cauliflower rice that we're gonna cook. So let's get started on this. Is Keto Sushi Rolls recipe by the website myketokitchen.com. It starts with about a pound of cauliflower and this is gonna go into a food processor. Um, so let's go ahead and whiz all that up right now. And we're gonna get it into a, just a fine rice. You don't wanna go too far and make a puree, okay? So let's just pulse this. Okay, this turned out beautifully. It didn't take very long at all. And now this is gonna go into a skillet and we are going to put this over about medium, medium high heat, she said, and cook this for about seven to 10 minutes uh, until, or until we get, you know, this has softened up some. So let me get all this out of here and I'm gonna leave this just dirty because we're about to come here and do this again with our other recipe. So I'm just gonna put this to the side and we'll come back to that. So let me get cleaned up and switch out my appliance here for a uh, stove top and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got our uh, pan over about medium, medium high heat. And I probably should have done that, uh, the, the cauliflower in a couple of batches uh, because I did, after pouring it out, I found some 
some plugs uh, of, of unriced cauliflower and you don't want that in your sushi for sure. So just make sure you've got it all riced. You can probably use a, um, uh, a box grater or something like that as well if you don't have a, a food processor. So we're just gonna cook this down, like it, she said, for about seven to 10 minutes. You're not trying to brown this, you just wanna get it tender. So we're gonna do that now and I'll meet you back here in just a few minutes, okay? Okay, so our uh, cauliflower is now nice and tender. That took about, uh, about eight minutes, I believe. And now while this is still warm, we're gonna go ahead and add our uh, cream cheese and some other things to this. So this is uh, some softened cream cheese. And guys, I know I say this all the time, and I'm gonna say it again. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back. Uh, these are not my recipes. I don't give exact measurements for these recipes because they're not mine. I'm just here to test them. So I ask that you guys go to the links down here on the screen and in the video description below. Uh, there'll be full links to all the recipes. Uh, and uh, again, this isn't my work, so I'm not gonna take credit for it. The, the fine people that created these recipes Recipes, they deserve the traffic, so, so go check them out there. So we're gonna just kind of start mess, uh, mixing our softened cream cheese in. And then to this, we're also gonna add in some rice vinegar, uh, rice wine vinegar. And this is something, uh, okay, I learned um, preparing for this. Um, be careful where you get your vinegar. Uh, I learned that there's seasoned rice vinegar and unseasoned rice vinegar. For us, eating keto and low carb, only buy unseasoned because seasoned means sugar. Lots of sugar and lots of salt, also often high fructose corn syrup. So if you go get, you know, a pick up a bottle of, of uh, you know, grocery store rice vinegar, this thing, look at that, second ingredient is sugar. This thing is six grams of carbs per tablespoon. Can't do it. So we're gonna season it ourselves by adding some low calorie sweeteners, low carb sweeteners. So get an unsweetened, so this is just organic rice vinegar, zero carbs per tablespoon. So that's what we want. You do not wanna go just pick up a quick bottle of rice vinegar. This is what I had in my pantry from long ago. Um, and uh, I just found it very interesting that I didn't know there was seasoned and unseasoned rice vinegar. So to season it, we've obviously added uh, a little bit of salt and then this is some uh, erythritol. So we're gonna put in our low carb sweetener to add back that sweetener that we missed. So mix this together good. And then this has got to go into the fridge uh, for uh, and cool completely. So about a half an hour um, before we can even roll our sushi. While it's cooling, I'm going to make the fillings for our sushi. Meet you right back here. All right, guys, so our rice is chilling in the fridge now, and we're going to make a couple of fillings uh, from the MyKetoKitchen.com. Now, a lot of this is going to be for both recipes, like, you know, just getting some uh, cucumbers and avocado prepared, but they do have a recipe for the spicy tuna filling. Um, generally, this would probably be with raw sashimi or sushi grade tuna. Um, I did not do that. They actually specifically say to use a can, well-drained can of tuna. So that's what I did here. Um, you'll do whatever you like in your family for, for sushi. And then we're gonna add a little bit of mayonnaise to this, a little bit of uh, sriracha. <laughs> My store was out of sriracha, believe it or not. Um, I know it's popular these days. So I did their chili garlic uh, sauce. And then a little bit of the uh, rice wine vinegar, not too much, just a, just a little, little tiny bit. Again, if you wanna know how to make all this, use the link on the bottom of the screen. So again, that's the unseasoned. And now we're just gonna combine this and then this is gonna go live in the fridge uh, while the, um, to chill out while the, while our rice cools. Uh, I'm just gonna finish up and do some, some prep here of other, our other uh, vegetables and we'll be right back. All 
All right, guys, so now let's get started on our second recipe. This is the sushi that's made with raw cauliflower rice. And to be honest, I don't know which one I'm more concerned about, the one that's cooked and smelled like poots or the raw one. So we're gonna find out. This is low carb cauliflower sushi by ditchthecarbs.com. Again, her recipe will be right here on the screen. I've already got my dirty um, food processor ready from our last time, and we've got, I've got cauliflower nubs all over this kitchen. Uh, I'll be picking them up for a week. So in this goes, I've got it. She say even says, uh, the recipe even says, including stalks. So it's about a pound, roughly a pound of cauliflower, including stalks. So we're gonna blitz this uh, for a few, rotations until we get a little bit of a cauliflower rice and then we'll be right back. So our cauliflower is riced and now we're going to add the other ingredients that go to this. Very similar to our other recipe. Um, so we're going to do it in the processor um, and she said you want it, how did she say, uh, you don't want any visible chunks of cream cheese or cauliflower but you do not want a puree either. So in the goes some softened cream cheese, a little bit of our vinegar right here. And one thing uh, kind of conspicuously absent from this recipe is a sweetener to um, you know, make up for the lost seasoning, i.e. sugar, in the seasoned rice vinegar. There's none in here, so I'm curious how that works out. And she also says a little bit of uh, diced spring onion, green onion, and oddly, salt and pepper. And I didn't think people put pepper in sushi, but uh, there you go. So we're gonna blitz this until we get something that looks like rice, uh, but not a puree. It is an unusual texture and it smells like raw cauliflower. I mean, to be honest with you, that will cut your leg off. Watch out, get out of the way. Okay. So now we're gonna taste this for seasoning. She said some people like it with a little more salt, a little more pepper or a little more vinegar. Again, there is no sweetener in this recipe. Oops, I have made a mess. All right, so we're back, we're set up, and let's roll some sushi. Okay, um, I've got all my stuff here set up, and, and like I said, I'm using some smoked salmon instead of raw salmon. I could not find sashimi grade. Guys, don't just go to the grocery store and pick up some raw salmon and make sushi out of it. It really, truly, whatever you're using needs to be sashimi or sushi grade fish. It's not just regular fish. Usually that fish uh, sushi grade has been frozen to well below freezing to kill off any parasites. So I'm just gonna put that out there. I'm using smoked salmon, so we don't have to worry about that today. And I've got my little bamboo rolling mat and I've got my nori sheets and it's shiny side down. Now I'm gonna tell you, it's been, it's been a hot minute since I, it's been years since I have rolled sushi. And uh, at the time it was during a party and it was probably a lot of sake involved. So don't come after me if I'm doing this wrong. Y'all just, we gonna have to learn together. All right, so here are our ingredients. This is the uh, one from Ditch the Carbs, the uncooked uh, cauliflower rice. And this is the one from myketokitchen.com. This is the cook that's been chilling in the fridge. So we're gonna use our little sushi paddle and we're just gonna, let's go with our first recipe, the cooked. And you want about a half a cup of this and we put it on our, on our nori and you gotta spread it thin. So let's do that now. And while I'm doing this, I, okay. If you're here watching still, you like what we're doing, what I'm doing here. You're, you're, you know, you're invested at this point. Y'all, my um, statistics for YouTube tell me that over 60% of you guys that watch, regularly watch my videos are not subscribed. You're not subscribers, 60% of you. So I'm telling you right now, if you've made it this far, you like what I'm doing, go hit that subscribe button down there. It really, really helps me. If you've made it, like I said, if you've made it this far, then, then um, it really would help me. Just go, go hit subscribe and make sure you hit the bell button too. Now, um, I will tell you, I'm gonna use my hands on this because it said if you use wet hands, that you can probably get this a little thinner. And um, that was the instructions that came with my Rolling mat said that. Okay, so I've got, 
roughly got this out here. Oh, let me get my nori back into shape. Get back on here now. Drum roll. Let's see if we can roll this up. Whew. Okay. Again, don't judge me. I ain't used to this. And you're using the mat, hopefully, to help you roll it. Oops, he fell out. Okay. I gotta say, that's not terrible. It's better than I thought it was gonna be. Now we're gonna cut this. <laughs> okay, <laughs> y'all, I gotta say, <laughs> that looks, that looks very pretty. Um, Okay, so let's put this over here and remember which one this is. I wanna make another roll with the tuna. And then actually I'm gonna do a salmon roll with our other rice. So let's do that now real quick. I'll speed up so you don't have to watch all of that. Okay, so now I'm like one roll each with our spicy tuna filling. Roll these up. We'll be right back here to taste them, okay? All right, guys, so we're back and we have a whole lot of sushi to try. I made a couple of um, the uh, spicy tuna rolls, uh, one from each of the rice recipes. And then we obviously have the larger ones with the uh, smoked salmon. And some of them I put a little bit of the sriracha mayo on that came with the recipe. So now talking about uh, macros and nutrition, really the only thing you gotta account for is the vegetables and uh, the, the cauliflower that you use and whatever you're gonna stuff it with. So I'm gonna give you the, the macros that they say from their page uh, and again this is going to vary depending on what you use inside your recipe so the first one here without the this is this one over here this is keto sushi rolls recipe this is by myketokitchen.com and this is the one that was cooked we cooked this cauliflower and uh, it makes four rolls yep makes four rolls one roll is 276 calories we got 13 grams of protein, 21 grams of fat. You've got eight total carbs and four grams of fiber. So this is four net carbs per roll. Again, that's depending on what you put in it, truthfully. Our other one uh, is the one that was raw and not cooked. This is low carb cauliflower sushi by ditchthecarbs.com. It also makes four rolls and one roll is 119 calories. You've got um, four grams of protein, eight grams of fat. Uh, you've got seven total carbs, five or two grams. So for five net carbs. Now, again, this had one of these recipes came with a lot of sauces. And so that's why there's probably some difference in ingredients there. So now the question is, Hannah wanted to know, does the rice vinegar take out the cauliflower taste of our rice, and there's only one way to find out. So our first one is the one that we cooked, and I'm gonna try it with the smoked salmon. So let's do that. I would normally you know, put some wasabi and put this in some uh, soy sauce or coconut aminos, but I wanna taste it as it is. So um, I'm not gonna blow on it because it's not hot. Okay, um, I think she's the one whose recipe said, we like this better than the real sushi. I wouldn't go that far, but I will say that that is pretty darn good. It's a nice substitute for the carby, 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 sweet and sugary 
Sushi. Now, for me, sushi is generally a, a, used to be a vehicle for sauces like um, you know, with the, the wasabi and the, the sriracha mayonnaise and soy sauce. So let's see how it stacks up with that. I'm gonna put a little bit of coconut aminos and we've got our sriracha. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's really good. That's good. It is not the overwhelming cauliflower bomb that I thought it was gonna be. It's not. Now, let's try that with the raw version. This is the um, ditch the carbs, low carb cauliflower sushi. This is raw. The other one took, you know, a half hour to deal with and cool. You had to cook it for 10 minutes. This one was ready in four minutes. You know, you just throw it in there. So is it any better? Is it any worse? Is it super? Is it super cauliflowery? Let's see. Definitely had more cauliflower flavor. It did. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at the texture. It's a little more firm to the tooth, but I'm not mad at it. Um, I do wish that it had the sweet element that the other recipe had. It had a little erythritol in the other one. So let me try it with the sriracha mayo and some soy sauce and see if it also becomes the vehicle that the other one did. Mm -hmm. You definitely know there's raw cauliflower there. Like the other recipe, if I hadn't known what it was and you just blindfolded me and I put it in my mouth, I'd have been like, mm, that's interesting sushi. It's good. It's different, but it's good. And I wouldn't have said, is that cauliflower? but with the raw one, I probably would have. Okay, let's quickly test the one with the spicy uh, sriracha mayo. I've put, I mean, the spicy tuna, um, and uh, I've got put a little black sesame seeds on there. So this is the cooked one. Let's try it first. Again, this is the spicy tuna that we mixed up. Really good. With some soy sauce on it or coconut aminos would be fantastic. And just to say we did, let's try the same filling with this time with our uncooked rice. Okay guys, uh, all in all, these were both pretty good, but I definitely have to give it to the first recipe we made that cooked it, the keto sushi rolls recipe by myketokitchen.com. That little bit of cooking took away the cauliflower, raw cauliflower bomb that really did kind of happen with the other recipe. So if I were doing this again, I would absolutely make that first recipe. And of the two, I really preferred the smoked salmon. It was really, really tasty. It gave you something to think about. Again, if you can find sashimi, uh, sashimi or sushi grade uh, fish, uh, be sure to try it. Um, one thing you don't wanna use is the uh, fake crab, the surimi, I believe it's called. That stuff is uh, super high in carbs. You wouldn't think so that imitation crab meat would be high in carbs, but it is very high in carbs and a lot of sugar. So don't do that. Go for real uh, crab meat if you wanna try crab. So there you have it, folks, and Hannah. Uh, low carb sushi, can it be done? Yep, you better believe it, even with cauliflower. I do think that the first recipe with cook, uh, cooked cauliflower was the better of the two. So be sure to give that a try and let me know what you guys think. As I say every time, these videos are a way for me to maintain my low carb way of eating. And looking in the end of that camera as often as I can helps keep me honest. So I appreciate that you guys have come along for the journey. Um, be sure to, uh, again, like I said, subscribe 60% of you who watch these videos all the way to through are not subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and the bell button. Also check me out on Facebook and Instagram. I tend to do a lot more conversating there than I'm able to here on YouTube. And then also I need to thank my uh, sponsor again for, uh, for uh, sponsoring this video. Green Chef, thank you so much. Guys, be sure to go check them out. It's some delicious, wonderful food. Go see what all the fuss is about. Uh, pick up their keto plan like I do and, and make some of the recipes and see what you think. Use the code down here on the screen, greenchef.us slash 90 highfalutin. That'll get you $90 off your first, across your first four boxes and free shipping on that first box. So it's really a no brainer to go try it and just see what you think. 
All right, and also if you haven't uh, heard of Patreon, I've got a Patreon account. It's sort of like the tip jar for the internet. It allows people like you who enjoy what people like me do here on YouTube and you can give a dollar or two a month and sort of keep the train on the tracks as it were. You're gonna see all my Patreon members over here on the side uh, scrolling up. Without their true rock stars, without them, none of this would be possible. And you can also get some uh, recipes uh, tried at your request, like Hannah did. She wrote me and said, hey, let's. what do you think about sushi? Can we do it? And so here we are. So, all right guys, I love you so much. I'll see you next week for another low carb video. Bye-bye.